for Nigerian stowaways travel 3,500 miles of ocean in tiny space above the rudder of a cargo ship. The migrants, who were just meters away from big fish like whales and sharks, had thought the ship was only traveling to Europe. For Nigerian stowaways survived two weeks in the tiny space above the rudder of a cargo ship as it traveled 3,500 miles of ocean from their home country to Brazil. The relief of the migrants after their death-defying voyage soon turned to surprise because they thought the vessel was only traveling as far as Europe. The men had run out of food and drink on their tenth day, but survived by drinking sea water that was crashing just meters below them. Roman Ebimim Friday, one of the migrants, said they could see big fish like whales and sharks from the boat. The 35-year-old, from Baelsa State in Nigeria, added that the cramped conditions and the noise of the engine meant sleep was rare as well as risky during the journey. To prevent themselves from falling into the water, Mr. Friday said the men rigged up a net around the rudder and tied themselves to it with a rope. We taught ourselves not to make a noise. Mr. Friday said his journey to Brazil began on June 27 when a fisherman friend rowed him up to the stern of the Liberian-flagged Ken Wave, docked in Lagos, and left him by the rudder. To his surprise, he found three men already there, waiting for the ship to depart. Mr. Friday had never met his new shipmates and feared they could toss him into the sea at any moment. Once the ship was moving, Mr. Friday said the four men made every effort not to be discovered by the ship's crew, who they also worried might push them in the ocean. Maybe if they catch you they will throw you in the water, he said. So we taught ourselves never to make a noise. It was a terrible experience for me, said 38-year-old Thank God Opemipo Matthew Ye, one of the four Nigerians, in an interview at a Sao Paulo church shelter. On board it is not easy. I was shaking, so scared. But I'm here. Image, the journey took 14 days. Mr. Yev and Mr. Friday have now applied for asylum in Brazil. The two other men have been returned to Nigeria upon their request. Read more from Sky News Vegan Influencer Dies of Starvation UK Foreign Aid Cuts Could Lead to Thousands of Deaths Iran Announces Nationwide Shutdown Due to Soaring Heat. The men arrived in Brazil after being rescued by police in the southeastern port of Vitoria. Mr. Friday said, I pray the government of Brazil will have pity on me. Their remarkable journey across some 5,600 kilometers, 3,500 miles, of ocean underlines the risk some migrants are prepared to take for a shot and a better life. Mr. Yev and Mr. Friday said economic hardship, political instability and crime had left them with little option but to abandon their native Nigeria. Image, thank God Opemipo Matthew Ye left and Roman Ebamine Friday right have asked for asylum in Brazil. Mr. Ye, a Pentecostal minister from Lagos State, said his peanut and palm oil farm was destroyed by floods this year, leaving him and his family homeless. He hopes they can now join him in Brazil. I was very happy when we got rescued, he said. Father Paulo Parise, a priest at the Sao Paulo shelter, said he had come across other cases of stowaways but never after a journey so dangerous. Their journey paid testament to lengths people will go to in search of a new start, he said, People do unimaginable and deeply dangerous things.